Well, we're just stood outside at the moment um, on the old UFO watch and having this go live facility on Facebook is very handy because it means that I can engage with those people who are into the UFO conspiracy stuff. And equally on my Facebook page, there are people who uh, it's not their cup of tea. And then there are people who just take a casual interest in it. Uh, what I wanted to just share with you at the moment is uh, I'm just outside doing my little sky watch. And we do have, uh, indeed, uh, the UFO activity very high up over me, um, a good few thousand feet over me. No point in even putting the camera on it because you wouldn't see it. But what is interesting to note is in this scenario... What you've got is um, what happened in the early 90s with me when I was out filming them was that I observed that some of these UFOs were observing other UFOs and this is what's happening. So what you've got is UFOs that are flying around that are purposely and intentionally evasing off camera. They're evasing. They don't want to be filmed. That They're very high up. They're watching, prowling around, waiting probably for something else to turn up. There's a whole, in our society and in our paradigm, there's a whole hidden from view um, understanding and system of esoteric knowledge and I'm going to be writing an article about it. Uh, it's going to be called UFOs, a new estimate of the situation. It's the first article that I have um, written in uh, in a good few years really because I'd been suffering uh, mental exhaustion um, and for that really I have uh, some numerous people to thank to get me back on track with it uh, and it's going to be one hell of an article because it pieces together why why are these UFOs turning up why would I put on my Facebook page all these images of the UFOs? I'm expecting something to fly over. I'm expecting to film something pretty good, actually. But at the moment, we're just getting this kind of little dots of light flying around, which is the norm. It's been going on for years. They ain't aircraft. They could be drones. But you'll find in daylight, they're like little dots of light, and they can expand bigger than what they are because we're seeing an actual technology base that is, I would suggest, seven to 1,000 years ahead of us, as daft as that may seem. You don't reach these conclusions overnight. You don't reach these conclusions uh, ad hoc. You reach them because of 40 years at the sharp end of doing it all. What is very worrying at the moment is uh, we're known, for those of you who aren't familiar with the term, we're known as CE5 or Close Encounter Experiencers. And what is very worrying at the moment is we in the media, we perhaps even on Facebook are labelled as fantasists, as delusionists, as people who've made this up. But what is very worrying is that we, kind of myself for example, who's a CE5 experiencer at the sharp end of all this, uh, can get approached by very weird and strange fantasist people who claim to work for the government, who claim to work for the intelligence services. And there are absolute horror stories about this. One reached me the other evening. The researcher in question told me an absolute horror story of meeting one of these people. Uh, and so this is the kind of thing that we have to be uh, wary of. It's, so I thought that I'd just do this little broadcast. We've got a mist coming in now. Uh, what I'm attempting to do is film something really good. Now, the last time that happened, I was literally dreaming in sleep about it in 1999 when it came in over the house and illuminated a TV antenna. I was dreaming about that. And it actually happened as well. I actually, it actually turned up and I filmed it. Um, and I'm dreaming again of something else turning up. Uh, it's not arrived yet but I expect it to, um, and let's see just what happens. So, you know, when dealing with all this, one has to be sensible. Uh, one, one should never lie to people, one should never exaggerate the truth, and one should tell it like it is. Um, it, there's always that a hundred kind of like we're never a hundred percent that it is a ufo some people say that it's a sweeping remark to make that ufos are piloted by aliens and that what you filmed how dare you say that that could be piloted by something that's not round here or people that is not round here well if you look at my work you will discover that i make no apology for that and, and why should i we're in a free democracy we're in a free society and that is what i believe is going on many and that, and that raises many more questions of course it does yes it does uh, but I'd just like to thank my team, and I'd like to especially thank Jason for doing all the imagery analysis. Okay, over and out from me, for now.